Hey guys, welcome to Sonic Academy. I'm Dom Kane and I'm going to be spending the next 10 videos going through a track I've been reworking recently. Uh, it's called Without You. It's a vocal track and I'm working on a radio edit version. I'm just basically updating, reworking some of the sounds, just making it sound a bit cleaner and a bit more polished. Um, and I thought I'd go through that with you and look at some of the things I've done and some of the things I might do. Um, and yeah, so without further ado, I'll just uh, give you an example of how it sounds at the moment. In my head, I'm sort of 80% there. I've sort of got the arrangement. Uh, if you look at the screen, you can see that uh, it's a fairly simple track. There's nothing major to it. Uh, one thing to note though is, here's a bonus tip for you. Um, what I tend to do when I'm working on something like a radio edit, I tend to think about a classic uh, sort of structure to a radio edit and how that should work. So where you have your intro and your verse and chorus and whatnot um, so what I've done here is I've put in if I double click to open you can see they're empty uh, they're literally just empty MIDI files here or clips uh, just so that I can title them intro verse I know you can put comments and tags and things like that in Ableton it's just not something you used to be able to do so I'm I'm just used to working in this manner really um, so yeah, as you can see, intro over here, fairly straightforward. I'll give you a blast of that. I don't think I can live without you. Give me something. And then it goes into the chorus. I don't think I can live and then we've got middle eight and then again back into chorus wherever you go whatever you do you know i will be here waiting for you i can't be without you i can't be without you yeah and that's the basic structure of this track so there's a fair bit going on but nothing too drastic it's not it's not crazy complicated or anything um, and the first kind of thing I want to look at is uh, the lead lines in this so um, a lot of people sort of quite often make the mistake of picking a simple sound because they want a simple sound um, and then just leaving it dry and as is and I think uh, that's pretty much a huge mistake in any production is to just have a simple saw wave and then do nothing with that sound. Um, I think everything should be somewhat customised to the track it's in. Um, and, and an example is this lead line. If I was to take off the effects, uh, I've got a ping pong, reverb and vibrato. That's all I've got on that. But if I was then to play this on its own, And it's just, it's one of those sounds that it is, you know, it's just a squeaky saw wave. There's nothing to it. Um, but if I then play it with the rest of the track like this. It just sounds dry and boring. And perhaps the worst part is, uh, to me, it sounds cheap. Um, nothing sounds cheaper than a saw wave on its own. Um, especially when it's just dry. So you can see I've just been soloing, unsoloing, or muting, unmuting lead two I've got in here just to show uh, the extreme nature of it. So what I've done is added in a plucked square wave in there as well. But before I even look at that, going back to this, uh, the three things I did to this was, first of all, I added vibrato. And that just adds a, a bit more life and a bit more um, pitch dynamic to the actual track. And then some reverb, which is just going to extend everything in, in between those notes. It kind of fills a bit of space, um, adds a bit, bit of atmosphere to the track. 
And then I've got a ping pong delay set on beat notes. And instantly that's gone from this sort of cheap Casio keyboard, uh, just a dry, nasty saw wave uh, into something that's just got a bit more life and a bit more dynamic to it. Then once you add in that second pluck lead, it'll sound like this. And that's just added a whole breath of life into the track as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's something that a lot of people forget to do is just to add little tweaks and little customizations to sounds. Um, you know, you, you don't even need to go searching through thousands of presets to get a good sound. Just adding a, a touch of reverb into a lead, uh, maybe a tiny bit of vibrato, um, you know, some ping pong delay, or as I've done all three in this case, and it's just giving it a lot more life and a lot more dynamic into the whole track. Um, it's just something that a lot of people overlook and I, I often get sent tracks from uh, people who have just got a dry saw wave lead in there and instantly it just it just doesn't feel like the track is like it's been finished it's still in draft format for me um, so yeah so that's something to look at when it comes to choosing the right sounds and I think uh, uh, you know You'll find a lot of people will try and layer in, uh, you know, maybe seven, eight, nine different synths playing the same notes or the same chords uh, to try and make something a bit thicker and richer and, and to get it to fit. And more often than not, what the reason people are doing that, and this is something I've sort of come to realize over the years, the reason people are doing that is because they're actually, without noticing it, they're looking for a preset that actually has that reverb or the vibrato or the delay or that kind of effect to it. And it, that's usually the eighth or ninth preset that they add to their layer of sounds. Um, and really that's all they needed in the first place. They could have had the original lead, uh, maybe one or two synths playing together and just adding a touch of vibrato or reverb or delay or all three or something completely different you know whether it be flanger phaser whatever something along those lines that just adds a, a bit of life to those leads um, and yeah and it, to me that just makes a world of difference thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.